Hey, Fafs here. It's been a while since we've made any videos and the channel's gonna be down lately and not me not making any videos isn't gonna do it any good. So here we are. In this video we'll be exploring some kiddo add-ons. It's been a while since I made it, these kind of videos, so kind of excited. So first of all is Rich Text 3D. Now Rich Text is always amazing. I will I was liked it and uh, Gido added functionality to use it in the prints a while back and that was a really cool thing but using it in 3d space it's something that I didn't think was I needed until I saw this add-on now it can be used for a lot of different purposes I would say interactive UI or you know interactable text is the the biggest thing I see I use this for but nevertheless it's really nice option to have inside Kido and uh, it's really good it works pretty fine and uh, it's kind of just rendering the text in on top of some planes so not much of, of you know performance issue I would say so pretty good next up we have this plastic solutions now a while back I did see GDC talk about uh, you know creating uh, you know, these cal calculations and some things and I tried to make some sort of a video, but I've never been good at math, so I wasn't really able to do anything. Uh, but Plastic Solution doesn't really do the thing that video shows, I, in my opinion, but it's really close. It's kind of like to calculate the interception times, uh, impact positions, and, uh, you know, firing points, these kind of things for projectiles and bullets. So kind of a, you know, math calculation thing. Math is always hard for people, so I think it's a pretty good thing to have. Our next step, we have these Gido Advanced Billboards. Now, this is a pretty cool thing. I always liked billboards because they are they are such a good thing to have in 2D space. I mean, I mean, 3D space into 2D space. It's all, always something I liked, and these billboards are actually quite amazing to you know see. Uh, this is a kind of a the demo video here and it's mind-boggling <laughs> i don't know it's mostly just you know things like shadows then objects and there there are these balls that are jumping these are supposed to be billboards and it's quite amazing in my opinion and yeah i think a really good add-on now another add-on that i really like is the gitto.gd and the name is quite as well it's a basically a way to interact with discord nowadays uh, due to the rise of tools like mid journey uh, discord has got a lot of attentions other than being used as a messaging app and more for a lot of different things and uh, integrating like things that you might want to add to discord through good is a really good option in my opinion and uh, the, the developer of the plugin is a guy I actually know pretty good guy actually and uh, it has developed some more plugins that you can check out and some paid events as well next up we have another Gido add-on that uh, kind of like I don't know it's uh, something uh, that's really amazing that someone is providing for free this is interactive grid and it's one of the most impressive add-ons I've seen around here it's kind of like those add-ons that go up really high in my list. Uh, Interactive Grid is a fully fledged kind of a 3D grid system. It's got grid-based pathfinding. It's got select selections of uh, you know all the stuff you need for a kind of a top-down or the, the grid-based or asymmetric uh, uh, strategy grid-based games and uh, all that kind of stuff. It uses like uh, the ASTAR for collisions and uh, I don't know why I'm saying collisions for pathfinding sometimes I just forget my words and I think it's really nice to be honest like it's got six and f eight direction and four direction movement support and uh, you get get grid size meshes colors and uh, some shaders as well and it's surprisingly you know performant uh, I think it's really nice uh, it's fully compatible with Kido 4.5 which across all of the platforms and which is really amazing for some add-ons because m some of the add-ons really don't support all of the platforms and uh, that's, yeah, that, that's just really amazing and yeah that's it for today's videos for <laughs> the Kido add-ons I think Kido add-ons have been, been on fire lately and I haven't been able to cover much too much of them uh, I think the best way is to literally just 
do what I do, go over to the Gido Asset Store and look for things that you might need. And on GitHub as well, and uh, it's that IL. It's just a really open internet, so you can do what the hell ever you want. So yeah, that's it for this video. And uh, if you're just watching this video, I would appreciate if you, you know, subscribed or like this video as well. well I'm, I normally don't say that, but the channel's kind of down lately. I don't know. Kinda, I kind of feel not good about that. So yeah, bye.